how often should the dental office staff be trained or retrained in handling, recognizing and handling medical emergencies? And the answer is basic life support at the healthcare provider level is the absolute minimum for every person who works in the office, not just the chair side, not just the doctor, hygienist, and assistant, but everybody, the laboratory person, the receptionist, the office manager. Basic life support courses are taken every two years, but studies have shown that within six months of taking a course in CPR, your ability to perform adequate CPR is gone. So my recommendation would be for basic life support at a minimum every year in the office and having the course taken in your dental office. And the reason for that would be you're training your staff to treat these medical emergencies that occur in the dental chair. Now, other than that, okay, uh, other medical emergencies, because cardiac arrest really doesn't happen, thank God, very often in dental offices. But seizures do, asthmatic attacks do, anginal episodes occur. So here's my suggestion. Dental offices usually have a staff meeting once a week, once every two weeks. If a patient is coming in this afternoon, because the meeting is in the morning, if the patient coming in in the afternoon is epileptic, then why not, as a group in the morning, discuss how you would handle a seizure if that patient had one? If a patient coming in uh, has a history of angina, discuss it. How would you handle it? What would we do if that patient did have an anginal attack? So that would be one nice, easy way to do this, and it would keep the staff more or less up to date on a regular basis because many of the patients that we do see in dentistry today have serious medical problems. Mm -hmm.